I want to share a story that happened with me as a child that may help you probably. I was raised to believe that Moses, after um, he brought the, the Ten Commandments for the Jews, um, he came down from heaven with those tablets. Um, after 40 days that he, he spent with God learning all the details about the Bible. Um, and then after 40 days when he came down, the Jews had miscalculated and they thought that the 40 days had ended a day earlier and they didn't see Moses come. So he really um, didn't keep his promise, so to speak. So they started b uh, building a idol, a golden calf, and they started dancing around the calf and they started worshiping the idol uh, because they abandoned um, Moses and his God. Um, and then when Moses came down and he saw the Jewish people uh, doing that, he was so devastated and he broke the tablets. And then he had to go back to heaven and beg God to forgive the Jews because God said he wants to destroy them. They are not um, faithful. They, they, they're not... You can't trust them. They're not um, just one day later and they're all already uh, wandering to, to, a, to another God and all that stuff. So what ended up happening in the story is that Moses begged God to just please, please forgive the Jewish people. Please, um, I'm ready to be erased from the Torah, to be erased from the Bible as long as you save the Jews and you don't destroy them. And as a child, when I heard that story, it was very much idolized and very much um, like a thing to look up to. Um, and growing up in general, whenever we were told stories about saints and, and, and big uh, people in the Jewish nation, like big, um, leaders and, and scholars and, and um, people to look up to, we were made to believe that we have to aspire to be like that. So as a child, I would think to myself, um, am I ready to do that? Am I ready to let myself be erased in order to save others? And the interesting thing is, I thought like, for instance, if nowadays, if I would, would be given a choice, let's say the Messiah um, can come today to save the Jewish people and liberate them from all the suffering and all the pain and in, in, in exile. And, and what's missing is that there's a lot of sins to be, um, that, that, that people need to repent for and they, they haven't done that yet. So the Messiah is still waiting to be able to come and save the Jewish people. What if all those sins can be forgiven if I erase myself? Like if I said, I'm going to be the sacrifice, I'm going to be the martyr and like just let the, pe let, let the Jewish people rejoice and have their liberation. Let them um, return to Israel and have the temple built again and everything should go back to the way it was before. So that seemed like the greatest wish for the Jewish people that I always was um, made to believe that it's it's something that is the only way out of all the troubles. Um, so I asked myself that question and the answer was yes, I would have allowed myself to be erased in order to be saving the Jewish people, but I would still want my name to be remembered. Like from the Torah to be erased is one thing, but I would still want my name to be remembered like I, that I even existed. Like if there's no acknowledgement at all, that was something that I felt I'm not at the level yet. And I aspired to be. I felt like I should have been able to allow myself to be erased fully for the sake of the Jewish people. And that belief is a very deep indoctrination, very deep um, conditioning that I've lived with all my life. 
and of course there was a lot of healing in the area of codependency to not think that I am not worthy to live a happy life um, but it, 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 it took a lot of levels of healing and today I had a session where I was really so overwhelmed with emotion realizing that it gets to be easy life does not have to be hard and heavy like that with that burden that I carried around all my life to think that I have to erase myself or somebody else it gets to be easy it gets to be joyful I can fill myself with joy and love and then I have so much more love and joy to give for others so I hope this helps someone and have a lovely rest of the day.